to talk about fulfillment by Amazon, which is yeah. one of the really neat things about Amazon that no other e-commerce platform offers. And also, you can link this into your own website. So you can have the back end of your Shopify website plugged into Amazon. And then when the customer orders from your website in the States, Amazon ships it, which is pretty neat. But anyway. So that's good. Yeah. <laughs> so Amazon in the States, anyway, they have like 90 warehouses spread out across, across the States. So, and these are seriously big warehouses, like the size of 58 rugby fields. And, and, um, and so you, you send your products here from New Zealand, like from your, from your factory door or manufacturer, and um, get, it to, get it into America. Generally, if it's going by sea or air freight, it needs to go to a, a, a third party, but ultimately you get it into Amazon, okay? And then they, they, they will send it out to their appropriate warehouses, like you send it into one or two, and then they'll ship it, they'll, they'll send it out from there. So you've got your, got your stock in there. Storage is pretty, pretty cost effective. It's just based on, based on volume, uh, volumetric weight. So it's like as a percentage, it's tiny compared to having, you know, paying, paying a fixed amount there. They do, in their, in their wisdom, crank it up in November and December because the warehouses get full, full to the gunnels with, um, with the Q4 sales. So, so you've got to, got to be aware of that and manage, manage your inventory well. Ultimately, they are, a logis they are um, like a distribution warehouses. They're not storage warehouses. So they, they kind of don't like you having more than three months worth of supply there. So that, that's there. And they will penalize you if you've been in there over six months or over 12 months, they, they'll send you a little bill. But even then, it's, it's still a, a good deal. But this just takes care of, um, so a purchase is made on Amazon. Then it goes through to the warehouse that's appropriate for where that person's buying from to, so it can be delivered in time. And then a, a person or a robot will go and pick and pack that. And, it, um, and then it gets sent out, the, sent out the door with UPS or FedEx and they, they drop it. Um, on the doorstep and if there's any customer service issues along the way like it's snowing or it goes missing the customer will contact Amazon and talk with Amazon about that to sort that problem so you don't get these niggly customer service issues around credit delivery cards, or credit cards address, all, that sort of all of that stuff is all not on your plate they, they charge a per unit fee for this depending on the on the size and weight of the of the product and so you need to and I'll show you some numbers in a moment um, so it generally is a, you know, it's a fair, it's a fair deal, you could say, compared to, compared to other options. And also being fulfilled by Amazon, Amazon obviously knowing they're going to make a bit more money there, they, you will sell twice as much um, by being fulfilled by Amazon versus the alternative where you fulfill it yourself or fulfilled by merchant, which you can do and in some cases need to do if you've got bigger and bulkier products or glass um, products that could, could break easily or um, perishable to a degree so that's probably going to be a bit, bit too much detail but anyway so it gets picked picked and packed and um, all of that is taken care of by Amazon which is like phenomenal it, it really is what makes this business very very attractive